I'm Audrey Elizabeth. And I'm Lauren Elizabeth. Welcome back to Pages, Pages of Eliza's. Today we are here to discuss some books that remind us of fall and some teas that pair perfectly with these beautiful fall books. We have some good <laughs> teas and some good books. So let's... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so my first fall book is If I Stay by Gail Foreman. Um, this book takes place in the winter time, but it just reminds me of fall because it's cozy, it's snuggly, it's a great romance, good, easy read. You can finish it in like a day, so it's perfect for like a rainy fall afternoon. And the tea that I pair with it is peppermint tea, just because it does take place in the holiday season. So it gives kind of that Christmassy feel while also being all snuggly and cozy. Mine is Anne of Windy Poplars. I chose this one basically just because of the title on the cover. Because <laughs> it's the essence of fall. It's true. It's beautiful. Yeah. And then the tea for this one I chose Lavender Earl Grey. It's because that tea just seemed really fallish and it seemed to pair well with it. My second book I chose is Out of the Easy by Ruta Septiz. I think I'm saying her name right. Um, this book I honestly actually haven't finished yet, but it is very old timey, very classic. I got another easy read. Um, it takes place in the French Quarter in 1940-ish, 50s, 60s, something like that. It's really interesting, really fun, and the tea that I pair with it is chai tea because it's very classic, it's very simple, but it's delicious, and this book is not delicious, but it's a great read and it's really <laughs> in-depth and has lots of different layers, and Chai Tea has lots of different flavors, so they think they go well together. <laughs> My second one is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, yes. because I just immediately thought of it, because reading this always make me, makes me feel at home, and just really cozy, especially when I'm reading about the Gryffindor con room. Oh my gosh. Like a fireplace, and like comfy chairs. And yeah. And yeah. Um, a lot of people think Christmas, and I do too, but also like there's the Halloween party and stuff. And that's why I chose the tea Orange Spice to go with it, because just the Halloween feast just with all the orange and like pumpkins and... Pumpkin juice. Pumpkin juice. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I chose that. Nice. My last book is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. This book takes place in the 80s, and it's a really cute love story that also has a lot of depth and deals with some really like deep issues while also being sweet and adorable. So the tea that I pair with this one is... Oh, this is actually from Trader Joe's, so I think this is <laughs> Pacific Northwest exclusive store, but their Harvest Blend tea is absolutely amazing. Um, it starts off kind of spicy, but has a sweet kick at the end, which reminds me a lot of this book because, like I said, it deals with some very real serious issues, but it's also just really adorable, really cute love story, and it's really fun to read. Yeah, so yeah. those were our fall <laughs> books. If you have books that pair well with tea, let us know. Yeah, yeah. I'm always Talk looking for some teas to read with. That doesn't really make sense. <laughs> Give this video a big thumbs up if you like tea and books, which most which people everyone do. should. Yeah. And <laughs> make sure to subscribe, which is down here, the link in the box. And we post videos every Wednesday and every Saturday, so yep. check those out. Do and it. <laughs> meanwhile, anyways, yeah, I'm I guess Lauren. I'm Audrey, and keep, keep on, on reading. reading. <laughs> can I put my glasses back on? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Guys, I'm so blind. <laughs> <laughs>